I'm Tinchel is based on the true life story of Patrick Henry Hughes. And uh, Patrick Henry just went through incredible circumstances in his life. Patrick Henry was born with a rare condition. It's called bilateral anophthalmia. And so it's not only the story about Patrick Henry and how he became, you know, a musical prodigy. At, at the heart of it, it's, it's about a dad coming to terms with um, a son that at the beginning he can't really relate to. And it's about a dad who had all these dreams that his son was going to be a football star, who's going to see his son out on the football field, and having to realize that that was never going to happen, but that he still had the choice to love his son. You know, he may not be an athlete, but he loves music. And the great thing about it is, is that he ends up seeing his son out on the football field. It just wasn't at all in the way that he uh, foresaw or could have foreseen. <laughs> to have a movie made about my life is truly amazing. Uh, how many people have that done, right? I mean, it's not even on people's bucket list to have a movie about their life made. Uh, it's certainly something I never expected or anticipated, but so many things uh, with my son in, in his life have been unanticipated. They've just come from from a greater power, I guess, and I've just been happy to be along for the ride. It's scary when you're when you're making a movie and your characters are not fictitious. They're looking over your shoulder. Action! It is a big responsibility to portray a real life person. It's, it's something that you work really hard to make sure that you get right. Listen, just think about you and me in our living room, just the two of us, okay? Okay. And listen, you know, if you forget part of the song, don't worry about it. I'll be backstage beside you. I can whisper the line out to you. I've got all your lyrics right here. You know, the movie is true to life of, of the Hughes family and, and some of our story from Patrick's birth until he was 18 years old. Working with the cast on this film was, was incredible. Working with Burgess Jenkins, um, he's just a great actor. Um, and also, I have to say, uh, strong enough to pick up Jimmy in a few scenes. <laughs> uh, and uh, just, just a great guy and uh, brings a lot of passion uh, with him as well. Maybe it's best we stop trying to force him into what we think he should be. Patricia, we are his parents. Shouldn't we be fighting for whatever is best for him? Is this what's best for him? Uh, Jamie Williamson um, was phenomenal to work with and Patricia is a story that a lot of people don't know. They see Patrick Henry, they see Patrick John, but that Patricia's kind of always out of the limelight, off to the side of the stage. And I'm so excited that this movie um, gets to highlight her a little bit more. And Jayma just did an incredible job bringing that to the screen. Yeah, Patricia is definitely the backbone of the family. What, I, what really struck me about her is how strong she is. Like, what a tough woman she is. And she has to be to sort of you know, endure her circumstances, but but she also has this real softness, this real kind heart. This is killing me. Is it worth it? With Jimmy, one, one cool thing about him is he's just an incredibly hard worker, and he put so much time into his roles. I, I tried to to get his posture down, you know, the way that he sits, I tried to do that because he, he tends to cross his hands a lot, so I, I tried to, to do that a lot. I'm excited. It's gonna be fun. We got to spend time with Patrick Henry just working on the physicality of the role of, you know, how can I move my arms? How can I move my legs? How do I get out of my wheelchair? How do I get into my wheelchair? For example, how I can only move my wheelchair one wheel at a time, you know, some, like, for example, my, my happy dance. <laughs> You know, initially I grew up in Louisville and just being a part and seeing Patrick grow up. I'd like to play a little song I wrote called The Crusade Cannonball. Uh, it was a story that was always kind of, uh, I'd known about. And I think it was one day I was actually sitting with uh, the DP, Austin Brooks, uh, and we were just sitting talking about what kind of story we could do. And uh, Austin grew up around band and he was like, you know what we should do, that would be a great inspirational story, was, was the story of Patrick. Everybody from this area kind of knows about Patrick Henry and, and the story of, of, of his accomplishments and the struggles that he had. And so uh, Zach and I, we talked about it and thought that, that would be a great inspirational story to tell. Zach and I spent a lot of time uh, together 
um, at work and outside of work, kind of sitting together and talking about what the shots were going to look like for each scene, um, kind of how the camera moves were going to work and the lighting, how the lighting was going to look. And action! Every film was always a team project, and uh, the crew on this movie was incredible. We had uh, a fairly young crew, which I think intimidated some people, especially some of the actors coming in. Uh, we just were all able to come together, and uh, we were we were all on the same page before even day one of shooting. So everybody knew uh, what was going on. We all had the same goal in mind, and uh, it just made for a really pleasant life on set. Uh, one of my favorite memories on this set, we were filming the scene where Patrick John realizes that his son will never be an athlete, but he loves music. We were filming that scene and I heard a noise behind me, so I was kind of like swatting behind me like, you know, be quiet. And uh, Patrick John was behind me and he was crying. Patricia, who like, you know, is like an emotional rock, uh, she just the uh, very you know doesn't ever really tear up you know she even she was getting a little misty eyed it was just really cool to see them uh, just uh, so into the scene and at the end Patrick John and Patricia went in to the scene where Burgess Jenkins and Jamie Williamson were playing their characters and they went to their respective characters and just like gave them a hug and were just like I remember this moment and you all just played it and that was really cool to be able to see all that come together. She's, I think she's made me a better mom. Playing her and stepping in her shoes for a little while has definitely helped me to be a better mother. I don't know, what do you say? Not so much? <laughs> I hope that when people see this movie, it reminds them that in, in spite of what may seem like insurmountable obstacles, that you know there can always be a light at the end of the tunnel. You just have to believe that it's there and you have to work hard and you have to, to pray and hope for the best. You know, I just hope that audiences will come away with a sense of uh, that, you know, nothing is impossible, that, that you can work hard and achieve something even if you don't think you can. You know, if you work hard enough, you can, okay? Anybody can. Anything's possible. It, it's a beautiful way to show people that true power actually doesn't come from our physical body, but from the strength of our spirit. And I think that that's one of the beautiful messages of the movie. When the, when the screen goes to black, I hope that people just walk away uh, encouraged um, because everyone goes through a lot of stuff in their lives. And uh, at the end of the day, it's, it's about our, our outlook and, um, and he has an, an incredible outlook through uh, his faith, through his family. And I think all those things are, are things that, even though we may not, we, most of us can see, most of us can walk, but regardless of what life throws at us, um, we have the opportunity to decide um, how we're going to respond to those things. I mean, it's pretty much the, the true story of, of our lives, of our, our family's lives, and everyone that participated in it did a truly wonderful job with the, the writing and all the uh, cast that portrayed our family truly did a, a remarkable job. Do you agree that Burgess Jenkins is better looking than I am? Well, probably so. I mean, they look about <laughs> the same to me. You've never seen either one of us. <laughs> there you go. 